One of the most important application of the derivative is to find the absolute maximum or minimum value of a function. When a, an economist may be interested in the price or production level of a, of a commodity that will bring a maximum profit a doctor may be interested in the time it takes for a drug to reach its maximum concentration in the bloodstream after an injection and a stipulator might be interested in the location of heavy industry uh, in a city in order to produce the minimum pollution in residential and uh, business area. In this section, we develop the procedure needed to find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum value of a function. First of all, let's recall f of c is a local maximum if f of x less and equal f of c for x all x near c this implies f of c is a local maximum and if f of x bigger than f of c sorry this is c again for all x near c this implies f of c is a local minimum now we are interested in finding the largest and the smallest value of f of x throughout the domain of f so definition If above statement correct for all x in the domain, okay, so I mean uh, f of c bigger than equals f of x for all x in the domain, domain of f, this implies f of c is actually this is called the absolute absolute maximum of f okay so let's write the sentences if this is correct uh, then f of c is called the absolute maximum of f and similarly if f of c less than f of x for all x in the domain it is called the absolute minimum an absolute maximum or absolute minimum is called an absolute extreme this is the definition of the absolute minimum and absolute maximum. the difference between the local and the absolute case in the local we focused on the local part small part near the point c in the absolute case we look the whole set whole domain of the uh, function okay uh, for example This is the graph of the function. Okay, so this is local maximum value of the point. This is local minimum value. There is no absolute minimum or absolute maximum. Uh, but if you consider the x square type function minus x square type function like this one. Okay. 
So this point is the absolute maximum. All absolute maximum are absolute minimum, local minimum maximum and all absolute minimum is local minimum of course it is clear uh, from the definitions. A function f uh, actually I can give a theorem now. So a function f that is continuous on the closed interval for a b continuous on the interval a b okay has both an absolute maximum and absolute minimum okay so the function f that is continuous uh, has both an absolute maximum and absolute minimum on the interval on the interval a b this is very important okay uh, for example if you consider the previous example like this one this one sample that i showed it again so if on the close interval we continue this consider this one like this one so uh, this right more clear is you can say that this is the absolute maximum value absolute maximum value for the point at the point b i don't know this f of b value this is local maximum and that is uh, local minimum or absolute minimum we should compare to these two value so this is absolute minimum okay absolute minimum so this is local minimum so uh, actually from this figure uh, maybe it, uh, you can find this some more example in your textbook okay let's show that this example to you okay let's show that this figure Okay, let's took this example for the same function our function is x cube minus uh, 21 x square plus 135 x minus 170 we have a three graph according to domain if domain is from 2 to 12 this is absolute minimum this is absolute maximum this is local maximum this is local minimum if domain is from 4 and 10 uh, this is absolute maximum this is absolute minimum this is local maximum this is local minimum if domain is 4 and 8 so this is absolute max minimum. This is absolute maximum. This is local uh, minimum. Uh, for the interval three to eleven, this is uh, both of them are the same. So this is both of them are the absolute minimum. Both of them are the absolute maximum. So as you see from this example, absolute maximum and absolute minimum point occurs at the critical points, like this, this the second case or at that point or both of them like the last example okay this is the very important uh, conclusion actually so let's state the uh, this situation this uh, conclusion is a theorem there is no proof in your textbook but we can say that absolute extreme ma if they exist on the close interval always exist if this continues of course must occur at critical numbers or at endpoints so this described the our procedure okay so by using considering this procedure we can find the absolute maximum and uh, absolute extremum actually okay absolute extremum on closed interval on a closed interval so what is our procedure step by step let's let's write the first step check the uh, check to make certain that f is continuous 
over the interval okay so f is continuous on close interval a b in step two uh, you should find the okay, let's right here check find the critical number in the interval a b in step 3 evaluate the function values okay uh, and at that point at the critical numbers okay so evaluate f of a and f of b these are end point and critical numbers f of c1 f of c2 maybe it continues like that one okay which is found in the step uh, two okay uh, found in step two and in the fourth step the absolute maximum is the largest one okay the absolute maximum of f is the largest one the largest value among the values step 3 and uh, step 5 the absolute minimum of f is the smallest okay smallest in from the step three